to our first um, mass with all students here. Glad you're here. At this time, if you'll ple please prepare your hearts and minds for worship. Make sure that you sing. We are singing full-blown on songs. You don't have a worship aid, but please sing. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who never cease to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, realize that you were ransomed from your futile conduct, handed on by your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ as a spotless, unblemished lamb. He was known before the foundation of the world but revealed in the final time to you, who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Since you have purified yourselves by obedience to the truth for sincere brotherly love, love one another intensely from a pure heart, you have been born anew not from, imp not from perishable, but from imperishable seed, through the living and abiding word of God. 
for all flesh is like grass, and its glory like the flower of the field. The grass withers and the flower wilts, but the word of the Lord remains forever. This is the word that has been proclaimed to you. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples were on the way going up to Jerusalem. And Jesus went ahead of them. They were amazed and those who followed him were afraid. Taking the twelve aside again, He began to tell them what was going to happen to him. Behold, we're going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and hand him over to the Gentiles who will mock him, spit upon him, scourge him, and put him to death. But after three days, he will rise. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we must sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, we can. Jesus said to them, the chalice that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or my left is not mine to give but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who 
are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles, lord it over them. And the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Mr. Noonan said, I, I have seven minutes, but he, had, he doesn't have ecclesiastical authority, so buckle up. It's been quite a year, hasn't it? It's been tumultuous, challenging, fearful. I don't know about you, but my faith has really been tested this year. How is your faith? Do you still have your faith? Maybe you don't have any faith. My prayers are for you. God give you the grace to have faith. Why do you think God allows us to be tested? as he had, as he has over these last 14, 15 months. What is God trying to teach us? Well, I'm not God. I'm not going to try to tell you what he's trying to teach you, but I know what he's trying to teach me. Through loved ones being in the hospital, very close loved ones dying this year, moving, our life being turned upside down. It was about three weeks ago. My youngest had just given birth to our 11th grandchild. She was admitted back into the hospital with kidney failure and other complications. I took the day off of school to spend the day with her in the hospital. I was scared to death. But as I walked up to her room, I cried out to God. And I said to him, if it's your will, that she's taken from us. I will trust you. And Satan will not have his way. That is the battle I have fought over these many months. Trusting God. You say, but you're a deacon in the church. Don't you have all the trust you need in God? No, I wish I did. Peter says that God allows us to be tried and tested. He wants our, our faith to be sincere and authentic. As our first reading pointed out, he wants to form Christ in us. It's not my strength. It's his strength in me. It's not your strength. It's his strength in you. In that place, Peter says, I want your faith to be sincere. The Greek word there is without wax. Wax. 
See, in the first century, when they made a statue, oftentimes after it was put in the kiln and fired up, it came out with cracks. You can't sell a cracked statue. So they would melt wax and they would fill in the cracks and paint over the statue so the cracks could not be seen. But as that statue sat in the heat of the sun, the wax would begin to melt and the cracks would become apparent. Peter says, God allows us to be tested so that our faith will be sincere without wax. Over these many months, I'm ashamed to say, there's been a lot of cracks in my life that have been exposed. What about you? But the good news is that our Lord does not want us to melt wax and hide our cracks. He wants us to trust him. To bring healing to us. To bring wholeness. As we end this year, I challenge each one of us fly to our loving Lord let him heal us and the cracks you see in your life don't cover them up take them to him because he loves you and he wants your faith to be sincere Yes, it has been a tumultuous year. But it's been a year of of God's work in each one of us. Let him have his way. Don't give up the fight. For Lord Jesus wants to each of our faiths to be without wax. God love you. Dear brothers and sisters, gathered as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our God, let us ask him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his hearing. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Let us pray. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them, let us pray to the Lord. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief, let us pray to the Lord. For respect for all human life, from conception to natural death. 
Let us pray to the Lord. For vocations to the priesthood and religious life, let us pray to the Lord. For our St. John community, may the Lord be close to us and guide us into a sincere faith. Let us pray to the Lord. For the sick, especially those we hold deep in our hearts. Let us praise the Lord. For the dead, especially Dee Dee. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. May the petitions of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits. Through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of St. Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Veni Suceli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini. Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Mortem tuam, anunciamus domine, et tuam, resurrectionem, confitemur, tone Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, 
so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Philip Neri, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of St. Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing, I just want to say two things very quickly. One is just how much joy it gives me to see all of you here uh, together for Mass, even if we only got to do it one time this year. That's, that's an amazing and wonderful thing. And the other thing is, I want to thank uh, the, the choir. I want to thank Miss Rady. I want to thank these girls who've been providing us with such incredible music all year long when we haven't been able to have music in the same way we normally would. And they have been so creative and so dedicated, and it has made our worship so much better. So please give them a little round of applause and thanksgiving for that. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. everybody. Oh, come on. Good morning, everybody. Uh, that was a little better. Thank you very much. I also want to thank, I want to thank our, our live streamers also. I want to thank the, the music we've done. It has been a great year for that and innovative. And we, I appreciate it very much. I want to thank all of you for a good year. It's been up and down and sideways. You've weathered it very well. I appreciate it very much. I am looking forward to seeing you all back here next year, you know, for what we would expect to be a regular school year. I think that's exciting for everybody. After, of course, summer vacation. The, I'm looking forward to working with the, the rising seniors, the class of 22, please stand. Yeah, very good. So you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be the cheeses so I'm going to depend on you a lot to have a great year next year. So, so everybody take a good look at them. All right. Okay, sit back down. All right. I also would like all of our house leadership to stand up, the prefects, the captains, and the, the student senate, please stand up. Everybody. It's going to be, it's going to be a big year for you all next year as well. Okay. All right. Very good. A couple of things over the summer, just some reminders, is pray every day, even if it's only for one minute, because it will bear great fruit. Be careful for those of you that drive. Be careful if you get on an all-terrain vehicle. And be careful when you swim. All right? Those are all things that, that cause problems if you're not careful. All right? We want to see all of you back here. For tomorrow, since it's the last day, we're going to have a Lion Pride Spirit Dress Day for everybody. 
so you can come in your jeans and your lion stuff. Yeah. It'll be a great thing, okay? Finally, it's a great day to be a lion. Juniors, you can go.